Now, for you two, for Omar and Conrad, what do you see? The at least give me two, two, two examples, two top mistakes that you see people doing in marketing and also in business development, um, Omar. Well, the first thing I see is people attempting to do it on their own without mentoring yes. and guidance and systems. That's the first thing. And then, you know, you need to be part of a community that will help you uh, continue to learn and grow and earn. So that's what I see. How about you, Conrad? Um, I, I think Omar pretty much hit it on the, on hit the nail on the head. Um, if, if I've learned anything in, in networking or business in general, it's, it's your net worth is your network. So mm -hmm. you want to surround yourself around people who are always pushing themselves to a higher level, a higher limit yeah. themselves, mentally pushing themselves, physically pushing themselves, spiritually, whatever they choose, you know, you want to be with pushers because it, it, at, at the end of the day, that's how you're going to move along and go to different levels in your life. And I'm a strong believer in, you know, it, it might sound a little naive, but uh, the harder you work, the luckier you get. Right. And that's just a reality. And the better your network is, the luckier you will get. So if you mix all of those together, um, you know, you, you have to focus on on learning, on implementing and building the right network around you so that your energy stays intact. You have the right mentorship to succeed yeah. and you're constantly being held accountable to take action on the things that you say you're going to do. Because at the end of the day, when you're running your business, no one is going to pull the trigger but you. No one is responsible for your business but you. And you have to be part of a very strong group, a strong network to keep you accountable so that you can hit the goals that you set for yourself on a continuous basis. So key word over here, accountability. We are gonna make sure that you are successful. Now, what sets us apart? What, what I mean, why should you work with us? I'll tell you this, one of the main things I'm going to say uh, about Omar, and I hope I'm not answering your own question, the own question <laughs> that I'm about to ask you, Omar, is that I chose when I first started in business, um, Omar was one of my my mentors for over the past 20 years. So my background is in the military. Um, 31st of this month will be my last day as an active duty military member, so I will retire after 23 years. But I'll tell you what, over the past 21 years, I Omar has been one of my my mentors. Even though that I didn't know Omar personally, I ingested all of his um, books, audios. I mean, he was one of the guiding force for me to become who I am today and the, the driving force and everything, my, my thinking, uh, the development of, of my family and everything else. But I chose to work with him when I met him is because the man took care like a lot of people out there that tell you they will help you know this this man kept me accountable and this is when we go into accountability he was able to be present and that's one thing that what you want from a mentor a mentor that is present not a mentor that says i'm going to help you and that's it they put you into some type of program here it is go at it if you do it you do it. if not then it is your fault no he made sure that i i, I was there and he kept me accountable even to this day he's still one of my mentors and, and he, he sometimes he checks up on me it's like what are you doing today and I, and I got and I got to do something. I got I got to stay accountable. But I love it because sometimes you need that 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 kick in the rear to m help you get to the next level that you need, and that's what you want. You need to wake up. You need to be able to actually have someone that not only leads you, mentors you, but keeps you accountable.